Hi there guys, I'm Sam Holt here from Egg Seeds and I'm here at St Catherine's Church with Nawiv and the youth of Reed Vellin and Hawthorne School creating a digital bench for the homeless. So how has today been? Very exhausting, been doing this since 10 o'clock and we're still doing it now. Well, it's, it's been good, like, apart from the work of it, because it's, it's tiring. It's been a pretty fun experience though, definitely learnt a few things that I might not have known before. Kind of proud of the work that we did helping out the homeless. One of the things about this digital bench which is quite unique is it's an innovative design and we haven't seen anybody else doing anything similar. Um, we've had lots of different pop-up buildings around the world for tackling homelessness but not something that necessarily can be incorporated into everyday public. The boys have worked so hard on it and they've been committed from the start and it's just for a great cause, it's really brilliant. It's nice to see the fin nearly finished project as well, it's, it's incredible. We originally came up with the idea about two years ago where we were building plant pots out of different materials and wood and put them opposite the church but then we come up with the idea to build a branch where we could charge our phones and then some of the boys thought it'd be a good idea if we like put it up by the church because there's a lot of homelessness in the area and we could maybe like help the homeless people if we build them a little shelter outside the church or something if they got a little mobile phones we, they can like charge it, devices and stuff. We designed all the features on the laptop so we kind of had the idea of what we were doing and then after that and that's where we started working on it and we've been working on it now for about a year. When it came to taking a concept to the design phase, um, we did it in two parts. One, we were talking with the stakeholders, so the people who might use the bench. But also, it was important talking with uh, stakeholders such as the housing associations and homeless charities to consider some of the risks and then we went into practical design features about what are the things we need to make sure the person inside is safe and secure and able to get support if they need it. There are solar panels on top and through that we have wires going into a, a natural charging box and through that we'll have USBs that you can uh, bring cables along, charge your phone, a thing on top like a cover so you can keep yourself nice and warm. We have uh, like wind plastic breakers. Uh, wind breakers on the sides to stop wind from going in so it's very warm and protective. Another thing we have as well is we have like little blinds and stuff so obviously if people want privacy they can go in there and we've got like a curtain type thing for over the door just so if it is windy you can close the curtains and then it gets the extra warmth inside. We've had a lot of partners come down to help which is good and then they can bring their expertise. We've done a lot of the cuts already in Youth Club which meant it was just about connecting it all together and then we left the roof till last because it was going to be so heavy that we put it on and then we were able to build the slate and so on into it as for the final touches. I was contacted by David Quinn to uh, see if I could supply some materials to help with the project. Just supplying some roofing slates. Best thing to use is solar panels and I think that's why um, we pin them on the bench instead of uh, seven gas, I guess. We've integrated PV solar panels to the roof that look like slates in order to blend into the surroundings. This will provide power for a battery backup system and also to power this box that allows for two USBs to be used simultaneously and a 12 volt supply uh, to be used in order to charge phones and other electronics equipment. We're just proud to say that the, the solar is working and we'll be able to charge our phones on it and we're just getting through the last few points of the bench as we speak as the light fades. So what's your favourite part of the, uh, the bench? The roof because it's the most thoughtful part about it with the solar panels. The probably the hardest part was the terrain because we had to do a lot of digging and readjusting. The project was getting all the measurements right and actually putting in the time to sew everything to the right size. 
I've learned how to use um, tools properly. I've learned how to, uh, how to pin the bench together and structure-wise. Uh, well, I've actually learned how to like have proper spacing for roofs and how the, the spacing required to have tiles placed in and how the draining system is going to be put into water the actual plants. St Catherine Church have been linked in with us from the start. They do a lot of homelessness work and outreach around Ponty. I feel it's a perfect location. Along with that, there is CCTV coverage, the grounds and where the bench is situated. We're very happy to have this as a, a kind of a pilot project to see how it would work because people do put up tents in our grounds and people do sleep rough around the church already. So it's been great to see how people locally in Pontypri, the youngsters, are able to see a problem and to put skills together to try and do their bit to find a new solution. What the youth's come up with is a banner we're going to post here. And the idea is then that uh, the person, if someone's sleeping here, can pull it down. And the idea is there'll be a list of rules on there, things for the person to either get help, um, or where they can access support, where they can access food bank. And then on the other side then, there'll be another one with the rules of the bench, which is how to use the charging facility. Only one person's allowed in there. Can, can you stay here? Can you inform the church that you're on here? And, and it, there's a few other rules there. So what's next? Something bigger. Something big. Something people, like, few more people would be interested in coming to see as well.